another thing that's really neat uh, that's kind of happened since the loss of fossil fuels is people are revitalizing previously important uh, parts of the landscape that are now important again. So this behind me is about a hundred apple trees. This is a, an abandoned apple orchard. It hasn't been used really for production in years. As you can see, weeds have grown up. These trees here are covered in grape leaves, uh, grape vines that are choking them out. Uh, really, this is a, what used to be a vitally important part of the farmstead, and this is on one of the older farms in the area. Uh, but it's fallen out of favor. Why would you pick all your own apples when they're so cheap at the grocery store? Well, they're not anymore. So now uh, we're coming back to using these things. And because this has been abandoned, they haven't been sprayed, they haven't used any petrochemicals on them in a long time. So I'm really excited to have access to this space. Uh, but it's going to take a little TLC to uh, get it usable again. So that's what I'm starting to do now. some breathing room by killing the uh, the grapevines who knows maybe something will sprout next year fingers crossed all right well I'm a little pooped from uh, scything down all this grass cleaning out from under these trees to give them a fighting chance for next year uh, once these grapevines die I've cut them off uh, I'll be pulling them all down probably next spring when I prune these all need to be pruned and brought down to their old form so there's a lot of work here in the spring but for now um, some of them are ripe so I'm going to be picking apples and these are going to be made into apple sauce. ago I picked about three bushels of apples to store for the winter and these are Spartan apples which were designed to be stored for the winter as well as winter forest apples or forest winter I can never remember uh, which are supposed to store quite a long time and so uh, what I'm doing now is I'm taking them out of the baskets that I brought them in in and putting them into um, into bags in smaller containers and I'm gonna have bushel half bushel baskets here shortly once I make them uh, but for right now I'm putting them in in plastic bags because there's a reason that you buy apples in plastic bags in the grocery store it helps keep the moisture in um, if I wouldn't weren't to do this these would become wrinkled and they'd be okay to eat but they'd be better to eat in pies or something like that um, but if I put them in this plastic with you know, not tied too tight at the top um, so that they can breathe a little bit. Uh, they'll increase the humidity within their bags. They should be stored at 80 to 90 percent humidity anyway. And this will help keep the humidity up. Um, and then I'll put them in the coldest part of the basement that isn't where the potatoes are. I have two cold spots in my basement. One over here where the, um, where the well is and then one over there where the stairs coming into the basement are. Um, and I have the potatoes in one, I'll put the apples in another, and the reason is apples let off ethylene gas. And ethylene gas is used 
to ripen fruit. Basically, uh, the apple trees let off eth ethylene gas to say, hey everybody, ripen right now, so that they ripen together. Uh, tomatoes do it, uh, bananas do it. It's that ripe fruit smell that you have. That's ethylene gas. Um, and so, by keeping the, tomato the potatoes and the apples apart, um, the apples won't cause the potatoes to sprout. Uh, other because otherwise, they like the same conditions. Um, apples and potatoes both like to be stored just above freezing, so 30, 35 degrees or so. And then they like to be humid, 90 plus percent, which is a difficult combination. Um, and that's why I'm having to put these in plastic bags, is to keep that humidity up. It also gives me a chance to go through and find some with spots. So I found found these as I've been going here. Um, I should go through these every month at a minimum. Every two weeks would be ideal. Um, just to find um, apples with spots. Because one bad apple can spoil the bunch, as they say. We'll see how long these keep. I've seen instances online where these um, Spartan apples last into the spring. I don't know if I'll be that lucky. Now I have three bags. I'll just lightly close the top. I want them to breathe, but not that much. And now this goes into cold storage. <laughs> 